Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Post Review Friday. It's been a couple of Fridays since I've had a post review to share with you guys because this kit was absolutely massive. It took me most of the month of May to work through it, which I was fine with. I was very much looking forward to this kit. Um, and I knew it was going to be a bit of an undertaking. It's a square drill, whatever. We'll get into all that in a couple of minutes, but you're probably looking at this like Laura. <laughs> This is just the top of the canvas. Yes, you are correct. This kit is massive, so it will not fit on my desk. And I do not like shooting post reviews in the way that I shoot unboxings. So I don't like having the kit on the floor for a post review, just because it makes it more difficult for me to be able to point things out and show you the canvas. So what I'm gonna do through this post review is I will periodically pop up a full length image. I'll put one here so you guys can see it right off the bat. But periodically, I'll just throw in um, a couple seconds of the image so you can see it in all of its glory because it is an absolutely stunning kit. So we are talking about Cabin Porch. Let me get the sticker out here. This is Cabin Porch from the artist Greg Giordano. This is a 70 centimeter by 100 centimeter square drill kit. Now, this is the first square diamond painting that I have worked on this year. To be completely honest with you, <clears throat> excuse me, I just don't wanna work on square kits. Now, I do thoroughly enjoy the effect of both rounds and squares. My thing is I complete rounds so quickly. Now I know that diamond painting is in a race. It's not about how many kits you're able to finish, but when you have a large stash like I do, I have a very, very large stash. I have a lot of diamond paintings. I am an impulse purchaser when there's a kit that I like. Um, I have that like strong FOMO thing. <laughs> It's a little better this year because it seems like Diamond Art Club has gone away with their limited edition releases. They're still like phasing out kits and discontinuing them occasionally, but they're not doing those limited edition releases on Saturdays, which is like it comes out and then it sells out and then you can never get it. I feel like they really got me with that marketing strategy, <laughs> but I think there was a lot of pushback from the community and they have gone away with that to some extent. I don't have an inside at Diamond Art Club, so I don't know for sure. That's just kind of like what I've observed as a consumer. So I feel like this year it's been a bit better. I also had that three month no buy at the beginning of the year, but I have a large stash and I can just work through rounds very quickly. And I feel like when I'm able to finish three, possibly four kits a month, I just have this sense of accomplishment like, okay, um, you know, rolling through these kits and it just feels good. However, I knew I wanted to work on this kit this year. It was on my short list um, of projects that I knew I wanted to work on. I do that at the beginning of the year. Even now, I've already started kind of listing kits that I would like to work on next year. As the seasons pass, I'm a very seasonal diamond painter, so as the seasons pass and if there's a kit that I wasn't able to work on this year, I'll just kind of put it in my mind for like winter 2024 or um, spring 2024 or whatever. So this kit was on my list to do this year. I knew it would be a big undertaking. I haven't worked on a canvas this large in a very long time, but it's beautiful and I love the kit and I remember how excited I was when this one was released. I bought it on release weekend. I knew I needed it and I'm excited to work on it. I just realized I'm missing a drill right there. Um, so yes, I decided to put this on the docket. It was my second kit for May after I worked on a very small project uh, the first week of May. I believe this took me 20 days, if I'm not mistaken. We did have a long weekend away tied into there, so I was able to work on a couple more sections a day than I normally would have been able to. Um, but all in all, I absolutely loved this project. So I'm going to just kind of do a little scan for you guys, but I will pop up another picture here before I do that so you can see it in its full length. So enjoy that photo. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do just a little scan. So this is the top, obviously. And I want to talk to you guys about this shading here in a second. But let's do a, um, let's do a pan through here and then we will um, 
we'll go we'll go for that so we have the top i love how the wood beams turned out i think they just look i don't know I, i'm not sure how you guys are seeing it in the camera but when i look at it from afar i feel like the wood actually looks but it's charted very nicely. I'm not gonna say it necessarily looks like real wood, but it definitely comes across. It's charted very well. And then we have skyline here, which I think the clouds turned out beautiful. We have this tree. Um, it looks like we have a sunset that's happening. We have uh, another tree line here and then some water. I love the little cardinal right here. I think this lantern turned out really, really nicely. I love the way that the railing turned out. <clears throat> I think this is just charted really, really nicely. The rocks look nice. Got a little, would you say this is a goose or a duck? I don't know. He's kind of giving me goose vibes, but do goose swim? Do goose swim? Do geese swim? <laughs> do goose swim? Oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> embarrassing moment of the video. I always have one, but it is what it is. Uh, we have the chair and blanket. You guys can just see how massive this freaking kit is. I think the blanket turned out so, so nicely. We have some binoculars, a hat, a pair of boots, flower pots. I think obviously the star of the show is this adorable I would say this is a yellow lab. That's a guess. Is it a yellow lab or a golden retriever? I think it's a yellow lab. Brie, if you're watching, resident vet hospital lady. <laughs> is this a yellow lab or a golden retriever? My vote is yellow lab. And then I think the floor turned out. The floor, the porch, the wood, beams. I don't know. I think these turned out really, really nicely. So all in all, I'm going to leave our little puppy friend here. I'll pop up another full length image so you guys can see it again. I think he is definitely the star of the show. Um, I just think that this kit turned out so nicely. Now, I will say I was a little bit surprised about the amount of color blocking, which you're looking at this and you're probably like, eh, I don't know. There's definitely some confetti, some of these wood colors here, the browns all kind of, there's multiple in each section, but it was more like you would have four, five, six of one color that you could lay down with a multi-placer and then it would be six of another and six of another. So it really wasn't too bad. Um, I feel like for the size of this kit, the speed that I was able to complete it, I was pretty happy with. I knew I wasn't gonna get in a third finish. I was kind of like, well, maybe I'll set one aside. I didn't even, <laughs> I did not get to it, obviously, because I wanted to enjoy the process of this kit. Now, let's talk about the square drills because like I mentioned before, it's been a while since I've worked on a square kit. These are definitely the new-er squares. I don't know if they've come out with the newest version, um, it's been a while, but these were the new ones as of the time of this release, which I can probably look up actually on my iPad. Let's see. Um, okay, let's see, let's see. Diamond Art Club, let's search. Cabin Porch. Still available and it is not in stock, but you can um, you can sign up for email notifications. Oh, this one doesn't list the release date. They must only do that with the new kits, but it was at some point last year this one came out. So the the square drills were fine. Um, I do feel like they were a little inconsistent in sizing but in terms of square drills I was happy with them it wasn't like a fight like I'm working on a square drill kit now which I'll talk about in a separate video but I feel like the square drills are just annoying me these ones weren't annoying me they were just annoying because they were squares if that makes sense the quality of the squares was fine I was just annoyed because I was working on square drills but I do feel like they were a little bit inconsistent in sizing as far as trash, I feel like I had a bit of trash, but for the size of this kit, I feel like it's kind of ridiculous for me to be like, there's a lot of trash. Because I definitely don't think there's a lot, 
but it was definitely noticeable. So let me pour this out. Come on. Get out of there. Well, I've got one. Oh, I got it. So here is the trash. Now, like I mentioned, this is a 70 by 100 centimeter kit. If I had this amount of trash in a 30 by 40, I would be like, yikes, that's a lot of trash. For this size kit, I'm not too upset about it, but I still wanted to show you the type of trash that I had. I had a lot of drills with holes in the top. If you guys can see, there's quite a few. I also had some that just had extra pieces on the side. Uh, random cut little pieces like look at this one it's got like six different colors in it um, but all in all I don't think this is by any means an excessive amount for the size that this kit is so pretty happy with that uh, yeah I'll put these back in here I keep my trash drill separate so I was trying to decide if I wanted to just pour them out but I will leave them in there as far as the drills themselves, I had plenty of, of, ev oh, of every color. <laughs> um, I was not concerned about running out of anything. There were 52 colors with six ABs, which is crazy. We had six ABs. These were the AB colors. Um, pretty happy with those. Uh, I liked the placement. I didn't feel like the placement was just throwing ABs so that it looked like it had ABs in it. I think they were pretty um, deliberate with their choices of where to put them, which I did appreciate. I don't like when companies use ABs just to say they used ABs. I like when they add to the kit itself, which this one definitely did. Um, as for the rest of the colors, like I mentioned, plenty of everything. Some of these colors you just didn't have much of to begin with, like this pink, there weren't very many of, mostly just in the flowers. Um, we had some like lime green, which was just in that one tree up there. So you didn't see some of these colors very much, but definitely I had more than enough to complete the kit. So all in all, those are my thoughts on this kit from Diamond Art Club. I really don't have anything bad to say because I thoroughly enjoyed working on this project. it I feel like sometimes when I work on super large kits, I get discouraged by the end of it. I'm like, can this just be done? I'm over it. I want to work on something new. I actually didn't feel that way with this kit. I was pretty happy with it, excluding one area of the charting, which I'm going to ask you guys your opinion on because I mentioned in my month in review that this potentially could have a home. Um, I was working on it up at camp with Steven's parents and they really liked it and they mentioned, you know, like if they could have it and I was like, yeah, if you've got somewhere to hang it, because uh, for me, it's just going to go in my long term storage and I'm not going to really look at it until the end of the year when I do my uh, finishes for 2023. So obviously it's very large, so they haven't really made a decision yet, but I have a question for you guys. So the charting up here on these beams, I feel like this red is out of place. I was thinking about replacing it with just one of the browns, but I wanted to hear what you guys thought. So I'm going to pop up another full length picture here so that you guys can see it from a distance. It just kind of looks out of place to me. So I was curious on your guys' opinions. Let me know in the comments if you think this looks okay, if I should replace it, if it's just meant to be that way. Because in the charting here, or not the charting, in the image, you can kind of see that it's a different color, but it's definitely not red. I just, I find the red to be out of place. It kind of looks more like an orange on the photo, but I would just change it to a brown, I think. So let me know what you guys think about that. But other than that little charting issue, but it's not really an issue, it's more personal preference. And the drills not being my favorite, I really enjoyed it. I loved working on this kit. So let's talk about accessories. Why is this tray in here? Did not use that tray. I don't know why that tray is in there. So I have for my tray this translucent, I think it's, I think she calls it like a gemstone color. This really pretty green, which I used in combination with this pen, 
which is a flower girl blank, but it's turned by O'Brien Custom Turning. They have both a Facebook group and an Etsy shop. I used the Enablers Outpost Chit in Forest Pine. I like this putty. I do not like it for ABs. I find that it sticks to ABs like way too much and I can never get them off my pen. So I did at one point, you guys can see probably, I replaced the chit with some pink putty just because I felt like it was much better for the ABs. Enjoy the putty, just not if I have an AB heavy kit that I'm working on. For my single placer, I used this pretty placer wax gem called Summer Pines. My washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs. And my cover minder is from, I believe, Galloway's Gallery. Those are my accessories. Those are my thoughts on this kit. And I'll pop up one more full length image here so that you guys can see it one final time. But please let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the charting of that red up there. And yeah, I hope everybody has a great weekend. It's Friday when you are seeing this. It's Thursday when I'm filming. And get ready for next week because next week I will have my week of accessories collections. It's still a working title. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call that series, but I will have a video Monday through Friday featuring all of my accessories and collections for diamond painting. So hopefully I'll see you guys on Monday and everybody has a great weekend. Bye.